Greetings and welcome to Valo U. I'm Zaladrith and I'll be your instructor for today. Today's class is Mechanics 170, the Spike. The Spike takes 4 seconds to plant and 7 seconds to diffuse. This means it takes 3.5 seconds to half it. Tap faking the plant or diffuse plays the entire audio cue, and letting go allows you to draw your previous weapon faster than a regular weapon draw should take. Turning on Don't Auto Equip Melee in the settings will ensure that you never waste this increased weapon draw speed on your knife. Alternatively, you can tap the weapon key before or during the diffuse to ensure that you draw the weapon you want when you let go. Tapping the spike after it's been halved will play a higher pitched diffuse noise. At the moment that it's finally planted, the spike is pushed slightly in the direction you are facing at the last moment. This is important because it's often advantageous to plant against walls or corners, since the spike can be diffused from anywhere within a certain distance, so the walls will decrease the number of possible angles that a diffuser can diffuse from, making them easier to spray. After planting the spike, the spike takes 45 seconds to detonate, beeping once per second. At 20 seconds until detonation, this rate of beeping doubles to twice per second and at 10 seconds, it doubles again, beeping 4 times a second. While being diffused, you can see its crossbar lift up, indicating how close it is to being diffused, which will reset to zero or half when released. If the spike is red, that means it's actively being diffused. If you look closely at a planted spike, there's a little white halo circle around it, and at the 7 second mark, a lighter circle will appear and start closing in on it. The spike can be heard beeping or tapped from 60 meters away. And when the spike does go off, the explosion radius is roughly the same size as, but slightly larger, than the audio indicator radius on the minimap from the spike's plant location, not the site. In summary, the spike has very specific timings to plant and diffuse. It's often a good idea to plant into walls to decrease the diffuse radius. The number of beeps per second indicates how long you have left to diffuse it. There are a few visual indicators to show you diffuse progress and time remaining and the tap sound and explosion radius are a fixed distance from the actual location of the spike, not the site. That's all for today's <laughs> lesson. If you have any questions, feel free to reach yeah, out maybe. to the lecturer or the TAs in the comments below. Thanks for attending, and we hope you enjoy your stay here at Valo U. Clutch. Jesus. You forget your <laughs> place. I hope you clipped I that. <laughs> I, I can't believe that worked.